Now the next story up, I saw this this week and I thought it was actually uh, really cool. Um, I don't particularly like him, but you know, here's the article up on Reuters. Uh, Sam Altman, who is the head of OpenAI, you know, the ChatGPT stuff, um, he put out a tweet that says Muslims in the tech world fear retaliation um, and, you know, basically expressing concern about the Muslims and Arabs um, in uh, the tech industry. And so he said in his quote, uh, sorry, in his tweet, is it still a tweet if it's on X, not yet? I think it's an, it's an, I don't know how to say it. it is it an X? <laughs> <laughs> it's an X. I think you're right. <laughs> he said, no, I, I'm going to stick with tweet for now until I know better. Cause X sounds uh, like uh, um, not the right thing to say. Anyway, he said yeah. Muslim and Arab, especially Palestinian colleagues in the tech community I've spoken with feel uncomfortable speaking about their recent experiences, often out of fear of retaliation and damaged career prospects. Um, just really, you know, for someone like this at his level to come out and say this, uh, you know, I think it's pretty remarkable and um, really helped to kind of, uh, um, you know, uh, allow Muslims in the workplace to, you know, hopefully can, you know, feel feel a little bit better. Now that you do research on this stuff, how did you feel about this? Yeah. So um, I, I think like the the first thing to recognize is a couple things is like what he said and the action and the action that he talked about, which I really appreciated, was that he said he spoke to mm. people. Right. He spoke to Muslims. He spoke to Palestinians. He spoke to people within his sphere. So I can't um, just talk. For, I can't just speak about other people without talking to them. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. So what I'm saying is that he went to he went to seek to understand mm. how this the the sentiments of how people are feeling. Yeah. I think that's the first thing to leadership is like really getting a, a grip and understanding how your employees are feeling. I talked about this in an article in a Forbes article that I contributed to um back in December where really leaders should take the time to seek and understand employee sentiment. Mm. So for me, it's nice to see not just a leader go and talk to um, people and understand. And again, I understand that this is, you know, Sam Altman, say what you will about him. But the fact that his leadership qualities, you know, his leadership capability of going to speak to someone, understand sentiment, be able to process and reflect on that. He's also a Jewish leader. I think him really advocating for the protection of not just the Jewish community, but also yeah. the Arab, Muslim and Palestinian community. Totally. Six volumes. Yeah. You know, and, and someone responded to that tweet basically being, you know, what about what about the Jewish community? And, you know, he said in response, you know, I am Jewish. I believe that anti-Semitism is a significant and growing problem in the world. And I see a lot of people in our industry sticking up for me, you know, him, um, you know, which he deeply appreciates. But he sees much less of that for Muslims. Um, again, a great, you know, like I, I think. For him to say this at his level, I think, is really important. Um, so, again, someone who's Jewish, someone in the tech industry, someone who other business leaders um, look up to and trust. Follow. Follow. Sure. Yeah. I think that's, you know, you don't see you don't see Elon saying, saying this. <laughs> you don't see Elon saying that. No, it's important, right? It's like it's like you you need folks who are not of that minoritized group to be able to speak um, what kind of advocacy they might need, yeah. you know. I think we'd be remiss to mention like CARE, the Council on American Islamic Relations. Um, it's a civil rights organization and they reported something crazy that like hate crimes have been up 300 percent since October 7th. Um, you know, for for Muslims, it's not just anti-Muslim sentiment, but it's also Islamophobia. And this is in addition to, yes, of course, like the Jewish community are also experiencing hate crimes and discrimination. Um, anti semit form different forms of anti Semitism. None of this is okay. Yeah. Um, but what I in my in my sphere, in my research, I see more of the advocacy and protection for the Jewish community and not so much for the Muslim community. Mm. So it's really refreshing to hear a leader uh, speak on behalf of both yeah. and really advocate for both groups of people. Yeah. 